at that point, almost all of the psilocybin mice, eight out of 10 of them are still alive. And so what, what's the headline result here in terms of the survival curve? So when, uh, when 50% of the control mice had died, only uh, 80% of the psilocybin mice were still alive. So, uh, so there was a significant improvement in survival. If you're looking at the mice from about 19 months, which is already old. That's a you know, 60 to 65 year old human, roughly speaking. By the time 50% of the normal vehicle treated mice die, you're at 28 months. So half of them are dead. At that point, almost all of the psilocybin mice, eight out of 10 of them, are still alive. 50% yeah. still alive versus 50%. So that would be, and, and in this field, that would be a pretty big effect size, I would imagine. It's a pretty big effect size because I will say too, you know, and anyone who does aging mouse studies knows that starting with 30 mice per group is a very low number. 